at home with Morgan Hawk is sponsored by Viridian Credit Union, an Iowa original since 1934. Welcome to Perfect Game Field, Veterans Memorial Stadium. The Colonels opening up a six-game homestand, welcoming in the Great Lakes Loons for three starting tonight. Lansing will be here over the weekend. The Colonels had a successful road trip going three and two, losing their first series of the year at Peoria, but bouncing back and winning two of two at Burlington. The Colonels were rained out on Tuesday had an off day yesterday and then opening up the series here tonight. We'll take a quick timeout, come back, look a little more into tonight's matchup. It's the Colonels and Great Lakes coming up next. Viridian Credit Union knows what I'm about. I have strong values and beliefs and I support important causes. Is that true where you bank? I trust Viridian to do what's right for myself and my community. They make me feel welcome and I like that they save me money. They make things easy for me. I mean, they have an app and they're open seven days a week. That's why I love Viridian Credit Union. Viridian gets me. That's why I switched. Time to take a look at our Kaplan University skills for success. Skill for success number one, a quality start. Brett Lee getting the start tonight hasn't allowed a run all season. And number two, early runs. Get this, the Colonels have scored 30 of a total 88 runs in the first inning alone. The Colonels look to get a quality start and early runs here tonight. Now let's take a look at our TwinsDaily.com Twins organizational report from yesterday's action. The Twins had an off day yesterday. They played tonight against the Texas Rangers. One thing to note from yesterday's action the New Britain Rockcats split a doubleheader at New Hampshire, and Trevor May got the victory in one of the ball games, going seven innings, no runs, and he allowed three hits. That's your TwinsDaily.com Twins organizational report. I don't know how you did it. What, riding our bikes across the state? Well, getting my master's? No, paying off your house early. Oh, <laughs> that was easy. A while back, we talked with Viridian Credit Union, and they got us into a 10 and done loan. Refinancing lowered our rate, and closing costs were only $200. Yeah, it was really easy, and we saved enough money to take this trip to Europe. Viridian's been great, helping us with all of our finances. Now, if they could only teach us French. Welcome back. Starting pitchers for tonight, Lee for the Colonels and Sanchez for the Great Lakes Loons. Colonels are 12 and 5 on the season coming into action tonight. That is first place in the Midwest League's Western Division. Long, lengthy homestand. Let's take a look at what you can expect. And it starts tomorrow night with Friday Mug Club. Tomorrow night on Friday Mug Club, brought to you by 98.1 K-Hawk. Buy a mug of regular draft beer or soda for just $6. Refills $3 all night long. And also, first 500 fans receive a free team photo, thanks to Copyworks and Wells Fargo. Coming up on Saturday night, it's Wings and Beer Night. For only $25 a ticket, you get the all-you-can-eat package plus wing and beer sampling. That's Saturday night, Colonels take on Great Lakes at 5.05. Coming up on Sunday, it is our Candy Drop, one of the most popular promotions from last year. The Candy Drop features candy dropping from the sky after the game out of a helicopter. That, along with Halfway to Halloween, is on Sunday at 2.05 when the Colonels welcome in Lansing. Dollar Monday, that's Monday night, a 6.35 start. Regular hot dogs, popcorn, ice cream sandwiches, chips, Cracker Jacks are each just $1. And on Tuesday, wrapping up the homestand at 12.05 noon game, Great Clips Twins Tuesday. Make sure you check out the Colonel's Facebook page for two-for-one tickets or the Colonel's email newsletter as well. You can win a chance or uh, register for a chance to win a trip to, for two to see a Twins game in Minneapolis. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll catch you tomorrow. Cheer the Colonels on to victory here tonight as the Colonels take on Great Lakes.